Okay, uh, this is part three of the B77 Mark I restoration that I've been doing for the last couple of months. Uh, today I'd just like to take you around it and show you what I've done so far. And um, this is what what's going on here. Um, I recapped the the machine, meaning that all capacitors that need to be changed have changed them out. I went through and I tested everything, all the tra all the transistor, all the capacitors, all the trim parts, everything that needs to be changed. That means anything out of specification. I replaced them. Um, this is the oscillator PCB, all that recapped and new parts in it. The record PC board, new caps also. Um, the input board, all new caps, everything that needs to be changed, I've changed it. As I said before, uh, the, uh, the reproduce PC board, completely recapped using uh, audio grade capacitors in it and the monitor PC board was also recapped and every parts that need to be changed were changed. Everything that needs to be changed I change it. If if the part is still good and within specification no need to change it. So I don't. I, so I didn't. Um, the power supply these the, the original caps were leaking change those out to brand new caps up there this is the um, the tape drive control board was um, recapped also and the capstan PC board was also taken care of the motor run capacitors are brand new motor run capacitors these are notorious for leaking and if you can see here this is a safety cap this thing was busted it, the original was busted that one changed I changed it out brand new right the motors the the motors were rebuilt I put new bearings motor run bear mo, I mean motor bearings in them the supply and the take up reel all have, have brand new bearings the capstan motor was also uh, taken apart and and refurbished, right? The pinch roller solenoid was also taken apart and cleaned properly. It's bone dry. No grease is supposed to be in it. When I pulled it out, someone had put some smart person had put grease in it, so I cleaned that out. Now it's working properly. Um, So everything is all up and running and, and um, the, the tape is working correctly. But I want to br uh, bring your attention to two modifications that I did to this um, tape recorder. I installed a pause module which is right here. Pause module so that when, when you, for example, recording a when you touch pause button, it will remain pause until you press it again. And I also put a module for the counter, a digital counter right here. I'll zoom in on it, let you see that. Right, right up close. This is it right here. Right, right behind there. It's kind of it was kind of tricky to install, but I get it done. Right, so new modules, new modules, the pause control, and the digital counter module right here. So now I'm gonna turn on the machine so you can see that it's actually working 
Okay. The tape go through a sequence of counts first, and if you notice, this just stays on at zero, and that's how it's supposed to be. It's at zero. Now, when I when I hit rewind, let's say, when I hit rewind, for example, boom, see the counter counting down. I'm going to stop and right into play. Now it's playing, and the counter is counting, right? And I can also go back to zero, and you see it's counting. Right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit pause. This is a pause button. I'm gonna hit pause. Boom. The deck pauses. So, for people who who are doing recording, this is a very very convenient feature for them to have a a pause button that sticks. The Revox button doesn't stick. When you hit the pause but you have to continuously hold on it. If you let it go, the tape start running. So this way, you hit pause, boom, it stops. Ain't going nowhere until you hit pause again. So it starts, start running. And the tape. The tape counter is going. Stop. Zero. So the tape is about ninety percent complete. The restoration is about ninety percent complete. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I will be calibrating the deck I will be calibrating it to um, recording the master LPR 90 tape and using uh, MRL test tapes to do this job so I'm looking forward to to that portion of it and I must say the restoration turns out really good um, the biggest issue was waiting for parts, you know, I order parts, but I got to wait several weeks before I get them. Like the counter and the module, I ordered those and I had to wait almost two months to get them. I guess because of the pandemic and all that, things get slow. So the B177 Mark I is on its way and, um, I will be... I'm working on it somewhere over the weekend and get this thing ready and up and ready but I'm quite pleased with it and like I said I always um, go back and dress up the wires and all that stuff so just just are, those are just um, easy stuff to do but um, I do those also so once again, B77 is all good. And um, for people who want to try their hands at um, repairing these decks, I strongly recommend that you first go to tapeheads.net to get tons and tons of help. That's T A P E H E A D S dot net. I will leave a disc, uh, the link um, I will in, in, in the below. Okay, once again, thank you for watching. Bye.